Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamond Sinawashi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, as always, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing from Diamond Painting Shop. This is a company that I have unboxed a couple of times on my channel, and I completed a kit of theirs last year for Summer with the Masters. Overall, I was so, 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 so happy with my experience working on that kit and have continued to be really impressed with the unboxings and what I've seen from other kits, even though I haven't completed others. Um, but the owner over there, Rosa, is so incredibly sweet and is really committed to a very high quality product and licensing artwork or using uh, public domain, like old masters images and stuff like that. And so this is a company that I get really excited when I get to share with you guys about. Now, I do want to let you know up front that this kit was sent to me by Diamond Painting Shop to share with you guys. Uh, but I'm going to do my very, very best as always to give you a very unbiased and uh, neutral opinion and look at this and this kit overall. So speaking of the old masters, um, that is a, a genre of artwork that uh, dates back to whatever the current copyright year is, which I believe this year is going to be 1920. Seven or is it 1928 this year? I got to double check on that. But anything before that year with very, 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 very few exceptions is considered a part of the public domain. And um, I tend to, and a lot of people tend to refer to those just as the old master's artwork. I actually have been a part of co-hosting um, and, and coming up with the idea um, of this event during the summer called Summer with the Masters. We've done it for the past two years. And spoiler alert, it's definitely happening again this summer. Um, and that is um, an event that just celebrates the old master's artwork. And so I got really excited when uh, Diamond Painting Shop, Rosa, the owner over there, asked if she could send me one of her new Mooka panels that she had coming in. Mooka is one of my favorite artists. And actually the kit that I completed for from Diamond Painting Shop last year was a Mooka panel as well. But let me show you what I've got for you guys today. This is the dance, or sorry, the arts dance from the year 1898 by Alphonse Mooka. I'm gonna give you a much better look at this artwork once we open up this box, but I'm so excited. I love this artwork so much. Uh, so this is gonna be 58 by 91 centimeters, and I believe it's gonna have round drills, but we will double check once we get in there. Um, there's some branding on the front. This kit's gonna have all the tools and everything you need for your diamond painting. Uh, there is some info up here at the top about what's included. Yeah, this must be, I think this must be rounds because it does say it has acrylic, and I believe they have acrylic rounds resin squares, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. How it works, so how to diamond paint, um, how you're supporting artists by buying from this company and all of that. So anyway, I am looking forward to taking a look at this panel. It's it's less of like a tall and skinny panel. I think it's like a little bit, a little bit wider than some of the others that I've worked on. But this image has always caught my eye. It kind of looks like it has some nice pale pinks in it. That's how my eyes read the image. I'm curious if that's gonna be what colors we get from the diamonds. So let's take a look. This is a little bit larger, like wider box than some of the others I've unboxed from, from Diamond Painting Shop before. So I think this is just generally gonna be a little bit, a bit, a little bit larger kit. Okay, there was, um, there was a little goodie pack it's been a little while since i got this in and it came with some other kits but it did have some washi tape and some smarties in it and so that comes with every kit i got one of those for each of these kits and i forgot to grab that i'm so sorry so we did have that plastic sleeve that this came in they use a um, a soft lint backed canvas that is really really nice to diamond paint on i had a really good experience with working on one before Oh my gosh, look, okay, I feel like you can tell right out the gate already, honestly, that this has had some hand charting done to it, as opposed to being a pure computer render. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. And really, that is not that big at all. Oh my goodness. Should I work on this for Summer with the Masters this year? I feel like maybe, maybe she should be in the running. She's pretty, okay. So here's a look at the original artwork. I'll show you the rest of this in more detail in just a minute, but I really wanted to stop and show you the original artwork first. So um, dance or the arts dance from 1898 is this piece. 
So we are gonna get a basic toolkit as well as, like I said, there was the little goodie bag that included some washi tape as well. Now, if you're wondering, what do you use washi tape for with diamond painting? I have a whole video dedicated to that where I kind of demo how I use it as well. So feel free to go and take a look at that if you're curious. I like to use it though in short. Um, I'll go around the edge of my canvas a bit, right up against the drill field because sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. Covering it up with washi means that it's not gonna get dirt or dust stuck in it. So I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvases. All right, so we have a pen and a squishy there for, for us, basic pen and squishy. A couple extra thin plastic multi-placers, which I appreciate. We have some pink wax. There's a thin plastic film on there, so don't forget to peel that off before you try to go and load up your pen. Then we have a tray, basic weight tray or boat for your diamonds, put your diamonds into. And then of course some tweezers. So a little bit sharp, not too bad actually. Not too bad, not bad at all, but I do keep the plastic cover on there just to keep the end from getting warped. So um, with a bigger kit like this, I might suggest upgrading your tools a little bit maybe. Maybe using like a bigger tray, slightly more comfortable pen might not be a bad idea. Um, but you can get away with using those if you just want to stick with what comes with the kit. Uh, we have a nice big bag of diamonds. They are round. Uh, we'll take a look at these more closely in just a bit. First, I want to take a closer look at the canvas, but I'm first going to help it lay flat a little bit more quickly. So uh, Diamond Painting Shop uses poured glue on their canvases. You can usually tell if a company is using poured glue because it'll have that, that clear plastic cover that this canvas has. If it has poured glue, it's safe to roll backwards like this, which will help it lay flat more quickly. Sometimes I'll roll both ends just to make sure because those ends will sometimes be stubborn. But <laughs> There we go. And then we've got our pretty canvas. <gasps> Oh my goodness, she is a beauty. And like I said, I feel like you can just tell just from looking at this and the, the way the detailing is, definitely looks like it was hand charted, which means that someone looked at the artwork and, and looked at the render and really tried, tried to tweak it so that um, it matched the original artwork closely and that we didn't have like tons and tons of confetti, like probably tried to make the color shifts make sense and stuff like that. So. I really, really love working with companies that have hand charted their paintings. So here's uh, the name of the shop again, Diamond Painting Shop, the name of the piece and the artist, the original artwork. This, you guys, actually is all a sticker sheet. The whole thing is a sticker sheet. Um, and I will probably like cut this out and put this in my paper logbook once I start working on this kit. And then over here, you guys, we have a set of pre-cut stickers. Now we have kind of the legend number, the symbol, and then this number over here in this column, those are all the DMC color code, which comes from the DMC brand of Floss, which most diamond painting companies do use that number code system. Um, we're gonna have a total of 57 colors in this kit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ABs, eight ABs. Now, ABs can sometimes be a little much for an old master's kit, but they were ABs in the old master's kit I did from Diamond Painting Shop last summer. And I actually thought they suited that artwork really well and I was happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to reserve judgment until we take a look at the ABs, <laughs> like what those colors look like in those bags of drills over there. And then we're gonna go through the canvas together and find out where those ABs have been charted and see what we think. So one thing I also wanna point out is that these have been pre-cut for you. So if you're like me and you like to kit up into storage containers um, or just read the symbols directly from either the storage container or the baggie that the diamonds are in, as opposed to like looking at the legend on the canvas every time, um, these being pre-cut and this already being a sticker sheet, like those are both really nice, convenient things that I appreciate that they do. So anyway, we do have this. Let me take you on just a little tour of the canvas and show you some of the different elements that you can expect. So we do have some branding at the top, diamond painting shop, create art that makes you smile. <laughs> we have this really nice canvas material. Like I mentioned, the backing is kind of a soft, like short lint backing. Um, it does lay flat, particularly once you have actually put some diamonds down here. You're not gonna have to worry about franks. We do have these scalloped edges. And then, as I mentioned, they use poured glue. It's pretty darn sticky. 
it's pretty darn sticky. I didn't have any, did not have any issues whatsoever with the kit that I worked on for them, which by the way, if you're curious, I will link to the post review that I did of that particular kit and you can hear me go into lots and lots of detail. It was of the kit Summer, uh, which was another Alphonse Mucha piece and was beautiful, just beautiful. <laughs> we have a schematic over here with a thumbnail and the full legend here at the top left. We're gonna find that same schematic and legend over here at the bottom right. Then here at the bottom left is info about the piece again. And since this is by Alphonse Mucha and is from the year 1898, this piece is part of the public domain. That means that it does not need to be legally licensed, but it is above board for shops to use old master's artwork like this um, and to sell it as a diamond painting. So I appreciate that diamond painting shop is using either public domain artwork like this or they are legally licensing artwork from artists. It's it's one or the other, for sure. You're not gonna see any unlicensed artwork from them. They're one of those companies that is really striving to do right by artists. Let's see, down here at the bottom right, here is uh, their socials. Here are their socials, Facebook and Instagram. So you can follow along with them there. I've seen them post some info about new releases and whatnot there, so good place to stay up to date. Now let's look at this canvas. This looks like the same kinds of symbols that were on my first kit I worked with. They're printed very clearly. Very, very clearly. Again, this is for round diamonds. This is a round drill field. It looks like we're gonna actually have a little bit of color blocking in here, which is not always the case when it comes to old master's pieces. So color blocking, let me explain. So we have sections like this here lots of the same symbol, all in a small area, all in a big clump like that. That's color blocking. You'll be able to use a multi-placer in there and have that color in your tray for longer. Areas with color blocking will tend to go faster. By contrast, let me find a good example for you. Maybe as we get up to the top, we'll see what we have some, we'll see some of what we call confetti. And I'll explain, I promise I'll explain. I suppose this is not a bad area actually. This is maybe a good example. In here, you guys think we have some confetti, more color changes in a small area. You'll mostly be single placing uh, and change out the color and trait a bit more often, but even that is just not bad for confetti. I like to have both in my life because uh, confetti, you usually get some really good payoff as far as detail goes, especially if a company is hand charting like Diamond Painting Shop does. Like, look at her face. Her face even looks good <laughs> up close, and that does not usually happen, <laughs> so that's definitely good. There's some confetti in her hair. Now, the printing on these symbols, that is a little bit faint. I'll maybe mention that to her. I can make it out. Uh, the camera does clarify it just a little bit, but like this light dollar sign we've got going on here. That's one of those ones I'll just wanna make sure I'm paying close attention to. And I'll check and see the other symbols that are on the canvas in the kit. And as long as there's nothing else too similar to that symbol, I'm not worried about mixing it up. But I wanna point that out to you. A light pad might help, but then again, sometimes a light pad will blow out symbols like that and not necessarily help. That's the, that's the only symbol I'm seeing that I'm kind of like, mm, that one might be tricky, but not a deal breaker, not a deal breaker. I like what I'm seeing as far as the rendering goes. I think it looks really nice. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick measurement and see how we're looking as far as true to size. Uh, usually they're true to size, but I always like to double check. We're at about 90 and a half centimeters and we're listed as 91. Yeah, I'm gonna call that true to size, top to bottom. And then we are at, let me see. I'm just measuring the drill field here, field here. Almost 58 centimeters and we're listed as 58. So yes, you guys, I'm gonna call that true to size for sure. All right, let's take a look at these diamonds together. Let you just enjoy that beautiful artwork in the background. <laughs> All right, so big pack of diamonds here. Let's see, so we've got the size of the kit here. Is this a, yep, okay. So we do have a model number on the canvas, this VC and then that's that series of letters and numbers. This matches, so if I were to store the diamonds separate from the canvas outside of the box they came in, it'll be super easy to match them up later. I'll probably just keep them all in the box though. Let's take a look. All right. So we do have what looks like some nice pinks 
and browns in here. These, you guys, these come in pre-sealed, or sorry, resealable baggies, I should say. Uh, so lots of people love working out of resealable baggies like this. Uh, I occasionally run into static when I do, and I'm also klutzy and I tend to spill things. Uh, so I tend to kit up, even if they come in Ziploc baggies, I will still take these diamonds and put them into storage containers to make them a little easier to work with. If you happen to run into static, like I sometimes do with Ziploc baggy drills like this, uh, you can cut up a piece of dryer sheet into small squares and tuck one or two in there, or three or four if you need to. And usually that really helps with the static. Now it looks like this is gonna match up with the number on our legend. So see number one here, number one there. This little number at the bottom left, or middle left, 152 is the DMC. 16.05 is gonna be the weight in ounces. And then they put the model number on each of these bags as well. So you really are not gonna mix them up. So yeah, they are in order, like rough DMC or legend order here in the bag. And there was a note on the outside of the box, so these are acrylic rounds. Now, please don't let you, that scare you off. You'll, you'll hear often people talk about how they don't like working with acrylic squares because they can be slightly more problematic. I actually hear sometimes that some people prefer acrylic rounds. I don't have a strong preference. I... I just want the, the diamonds to be pretty uniform in size and shape. The material itself does not tend to be a sticking point for me. The kit that I worked on from Diamond Painting Shop last summer had round diamonds. I had a wonderful experience with them. No issues at all, and I'm sure that they were acrylic as well. So don't let that scare you off, like I said. <laughs> uh, so lots of gorgeous earth tones, as I'm sure you guys are seeing here. Um, we have a couple of bags here of this beige, 3866. And definitely what I'm seeing of the diamonds in the bags, they do not look problematic. They look like they're nice quality. Now here we've got our, let's see if I got all of them, eight bags of ABs. One, two, three, four, five. Is this two bags? Holy cow, of the same color. All right, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have eight ABs. Now, let me explain just in case you're not sure. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's referring to the iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds. Way, way, way more sparkly than your regular diamonds that have no iridescent coating on the top. These are gonna draw your eye to the areas that they've been charted because they are just so eye-catching. Um, oh, look at those, those like pretty pastels and light colors. Uh, they're gonna highlight the areas they've been charted and you can see that they're reflecting kind of a variety of colors, especially this one is very bold. Um, that is not just the base color. So we'll see, let's see where they've charted these. We do have this, uh, this looks like a black AB, but it's got like an oil slick AB coating on the top. Pretty tangerine orange, two big bags. I'm gonna say, I bet this is gonna be in the dress. We'll take a look though, we will take a look. Got some red and blue, and then some light blue, white, and light pink. So multiple shades of pink AB, like dang, dang. Okay, let's take a look. We'll start at the bottom. Let's see where we're gonna find these various ABs. So taking a look at what the symbols are going to be. So right off the bat, let's see here at the bottom. Um, let's see, our pink ABs are going to be the letter N and a little sideways, I call it like a sideways R symbol. So we do have, oh yes, in the dress, <laughs> all throughout her dress. So the darker pink that I'm pointing, or it's kind of a medium pink, is going to be, let's see, 53, 53, yep, that's going to be the darker of the pink ABs, the one that we have the most of. And then the lighter pink AB is the lightest color that you're seeing in here. Light pink AB in here. Dark pink AB is just, you know what, it's all throughout her dress. It's completely all throughout her dress. Uh, the red in these flower petals, the bright red you're seeing is a red AB. If you hear my cat eating, just, just ignore. They've decided it's dinner time. <laughs> Again, lots of both pink ABs throughout the dress. My apologies for the glare you're seeing. But yeah, all throughout. Her dress is going to shimmer and sparkle. There's oodles of it here and here. And then we start to get into, start to get into some of the white AB. There's some white AB right here. And then, ooh, this like sash here 
has some white AB doing highlighting throughout it. And actually the white AB is sandwiched in between the lighter pink AB. Um, yeah, in between rows of the light pink AB. That's gonna be pretty. All right, let's keep going. The blue AB is the darker blue color you're seeing here in this arch behind her. And then we have that lighter blue AB too. Okay, so the lighter blue AB is like the outer outline of these arches. Let me unroll this a bit further. Even more AB, pink ABs in here, red ABs right here, white ABs along here. And then I feel like there's one, which one am I missing? Oh, that black AB. Okay, so that really striking oil slick AB I see is in the middle, like the darker color in, in the middle of these symbols. Lots of the, this so we have the medium pink AB throughout here, again, throughout her dress. And some of the light, yeah, the light and the dark pink ABs all throughout here. White AB, white AB. Again, the darkest blue that you're seeing in the arch, kind of sprinkled throughout, is the blue AB. And it's, there's a lot, you guys. <laughs> it's going to be so pretty. The orange AB, I finally found, we have some of it, are these pretty yellow they look yellow in the camera accents in her hair and then we actually have this is some of the red ab is it looks dark pink in the camera i think and then checking to see if that black ab is anywhere else there's a little bit of the black ab up here in this corner in the center of this flower and the light blue ab continues outlining on the outside of the arch that light blue you see oh this is black ab oh you guys i just realized okay i was like there's a big bag of black ab's what am i missing <laughs> like it's not just the middles of these symbols okay that black ab which is again this one with this oil slick effect on the top actually is um part of the entire border so the outside border color looks like it's a dark burgundy and then running right along next to it all the way around <laughs> and actually coming down here is that oil slick slash black AB. Same over here on this side. Now that's a really kind of stark color. I'm gonna see how I feel about it when it's down. I may pull it up and just do a regular black drill color, which it looks like there is some of in this kit. So I can either, if I have any left over, I can maybe just swap that in or pull from my spares. But um, I'm sure that there are some ABs in here that, <laughs> that I missed. Um, but I think that just about covers it. There's honestly, there's quite a lot. There's quite a lot. So the only one that I am unsure of is, is that oil slick black AB. But otherwise, I really like what I'm seeing a lot. And I think it's going to enhance this painting really, really beautifully. So you guys, this is the absolutely beautiful dance by Alphonse Mucha. This is from Diamond Painting Shop and is such a beauty and we perfect Perfect for summer with a masters. Now Diamond Painting Shop has several old masters kits, including several MUCA panels, and I highly recommend, I highly recommend you take a look at what they have to offer. Like I said, I'm gonna link to my post review of the one that I completed last summer, so you can take a look in case you're curious to see how one might look completed. That was from one of their very first runs of kits when they opened, and I was so impressed by the quality given that they were a brand new shop and they have continued to improve and grow since, and so, I am highly optimistic about this one, you guys. So you may see me work on this for Summer with the Masters this year. If you're curious to hear more about that event, by the way, I will link to the playlists for the past two years and that series of um, videos for those events that I did. I co-hosted that with Jessica at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. She's absolutely wonderful. It's taking a little bit of a YouTube break recently, but um, has just fantastic content. If you haven't checked her out, please, please, please do. She's wonderful. Anyway, I am rambling a little bit, but I'm gonna end it here. I'll link to this kit directly below. Thank you guys for watching. A huge thank you to Diamond Painting Shop for sending this over for me to share with you all. What do you guys think? Have you tried a kit from Diamond Painting Shop before? Have you tried an old master's kit? Have you tried a MUCA kit? 
If not, is it something that you think you might go and take a look at? I would definitely encourage it. So I'm going to let you guys go. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, including reviews of completed kits and tips and tricks and tutorials, all the things. I would love, love, love to have you. Leave any questions, comments, happy thoughts down below in the comment section, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a wonderful day again, <laughs> and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.